So, the new trailer just dropped for Star Wars Rogue One, and unfortunately, I gotta say, I was pretty underwhelmed by it. I mean, it wasn't a bad trailer. It didn't do anything to make me less interested in the movie. It just didn't do anything to make me more interested in the movie. Uh, so essentially, we got lots of new footage, lots of footage we hadn't seen before, but it didn't give us anything that really wowed me. It kind of played off giving us stuff that we're pretty sure we were going to see. So if, you, if you're watching this, I assume you've already watched it, know that the last shot is of Darth Vader. And so that was cool, but it was exactly what we thought what it was going to be. The last shot's probably going to be Vader. That's what it was. And it's him from behind, so it's like the bare minimum they could give. And it gives nothing about it. It's just like, see, Vader's in this. And that's all we got. And that's what I kind of felt like with this whole trailer is it, it gave us the bare minimum of what it needed to give us. So it gave us just enough lighthearted moments. It showed the team coming together. It showed a, the idea that there's this uh, Jedi religion still out there. It shows the team kind of getting together and getting ready to do something. But it didn't do any of those enough. It didn't do any of the things that it does in it enough to make me go, oh, yeah, that... That looks really interesting. So you don't get the team dynamic. You don't see how they really interplay together as a group enough to feel like you're part of this group and you're going to really like this team of rogues going to go steal the plants. You don't get that vibe. You don't see enough Vader to be like, oh, man, that's all, like I can't wait to see what they're doing with that. It, all they did literally was just put a shot in there that might as well have been pulled out of Empire Strikes Back, put it in there. And so we see, oh, look, he's in there but it doesn't give us anything to actually get excited about. You get a little bit more uh, of all these things that we kind of already knew were there. And there's just no wow moments for me. There's some you know cool shots, but it all kind of tied to things that we know we were going to see of battles and stuff like that. Now, what I did like, so I've, just, I've been talking about how I was disappointed the first part, but what I did like was the world building and getting to see Star Wars from a different perspective and not just... Uh, purely from the you know, the main characters, but like seeing it in the, from the perspective of viewing the Empire as this growing thing that needs to be stopped um, and not from Luke's perspective. That's kind of the key language. And so just this idea of, you know, cities seeing the Empire come in and feel like they're getting taken over, that's really interesting to me. So that was the one thing that kind of was like, ooh, this looks, I kind of like this. And then it, it just didn't go any from the, where, anywhere from there that kind of impressed me. And uh, I think the key thing is it didn't feel a certain emotion kind of swell in me. So when I saw the first Rogue One trailer, it kind of gave me a little bit of that. It gave me just a tease of everything. Go, ooh, that looks pretty cool. And this one, it was like a little bit more of each of those teases, but nothing that made me particularly excited about any one thing in this movie, unfortunately. And especially coming off of the trailers for... Uh, the Force Awakens, which were all were incredible and did such a great job of making you excited about the movie without giving you too much about the plot, but it, stirring your emotions. This one did not stir my emotions, to use whatever that phrase means, but um, I just didn't have a strong reaction to it. It was more like, oh, well, that was good. And literally, I was waiting for it to come out. I was hoping it was going to come out a month ago um, in stopped everything I was doing to watch that documentary, which was not a trailer, and then waited for this one and kind of watched it and went, oh, I wanted to be wowed. I, and that's maybe that's the problem. Maybe this was a great trailer, and I just wanted mind-blowing trailer, and that set myself up for failure. Um, but I guess part of the problem is also is that as a movie that has some rumor mill about what's going on behind the scenes and reshoots, or they're trying to change the tone, or they're trying to... Uh, rework it. They're are they trying to figure out what they're going to do? Are they going to have an opening crawl for it? Where it sounds like there's a lot of questioning going on, and you want a trailer that's really going to pull you in and just dispel all of that. And I don't know that this trailer did that. Likewise, to tell a personal anecdote, just yesterday I got a text message from a good buddy of mine. He's my age. He's in his thirties. He's got a kid the same age as my boy, and so both we, both of us have little boys. Um, and so I'm the movie guy, and he knows I'm the movie guy, so he texts me about this, and he goes, hey, is this going to be the last Star Wars movie? And so he's just the average person that grew up with Star Wars, loves Star Wars, but doesn't follow movie news, so he doesn't know all this stuff that you know I talk about. So he texts me about it, and we're going back and forth, and clearly he doesn't know anything about what this movie is about, and he just saw a trailer during the Olympics and was like, hey, what's I wasn't didn't realize this was coming out. No clue what it's about, and I don't think that this trailer is going to answer that for him. I think he'll be excited because it's more Star Wars. And so, of course, he'll be excited. But 
I don't think he's going to have a better idea where this falls into the scheme of things. Be like, wait, Vader's in it? Another Death Star? I think he's going to be confused. And um, so all that to say, I, I wanted to love this. I wanted to be wowed with what they did with it. And it felt like they just kind of gave us more of the same. They gave us a very vanilla trailer. Just a nice, simple, here, here's some footage showing some nice shots from it. Um, there's some war. There's a new Jedi planet with religion. Hey, look, Vader's in it. But they didn't really do anything to sell me that this is going to be an awesome spin-off movie, uh, an awesome Star Wars story. And I don't think that they did a good enough job of explaining how this ties into the Star Wars universe for the average person that doesn't watch videos like this or read blogs on the internet. So that's my take on it. Hopefully you guys disagree with that. I hope maybe, you know, if you try and convince me in the comment section, join in, tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me why I should love this because I want you to convince me that there's something in this that should have wow factor to it. Maybe there's some Easter eggs I missed. There's some stuff in it. Maybe you guys thought the robot talk, talking and cracking jokes was hilarious. I was like, oh, C-3PO type robot. Cool. Um, Convince me. If you like this video, please click that subscribe button and hear me ramble about more things. Join in the comments section. I'd love to have a conversation with you about what you thought about it and talk me up, please. Thank you for watching.